O M G. You guys, look at this freaking wheat field. Do you see this? This is so amazing. Hi guys, I'm Nyx. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, me and my gyroid friend here come to you from my bedroom in Animal Crossing to bring you yet another island tour. If you guys like this kind of content and you want to see more like it, please remember to leave a like down below and consider subscribing to my channel because it really does help me out. Also leave a comment down below as to what gyroid in the game is your favorite. I would love to know. And with that being said, let's get into the video. So we are here on the island of Calamity and I can't even begin to tell you how amazing just the small portion of this island that I've seen so far looks. This is a random dream address that I came across. Uh, we have the creator Clementine here. The villagers are Maple, Buck, Elmer, Sylvana, Winnie, Lily, Henry, Tipper, Doby, and Marshall. Quite a great lineup. I actually like seeing horse villagers. I don't see them very often, but I appreciate it. I think that's very cute. But you guys need to take a look at this because this, I don't know if they're like doing a desert theme, but this is absolutely amazing. It's so pretty. All of the overgrown weeds feel like they fit so well. It kind of reminds me of like um, the little like tumbleweeds or maybe like grass that's like dying out. The cactuses are a perfect touch. I really just love like the tiny little decor elements here. Like the minecarts placed everywhere. I love that. These chairs acting as just like a little sitting area are so freaking cute. I have never seen, I didn't even know that they had like this pattern thing that you could put on them. I'm pretty sure that's a custom design, but that is absolutely beautiful. I will definitely need to use these chairs in the future. I don't know what chairs they are but i need to find out because this is like i'm amazed right now this rug code on the ground is chef's kiss i'm really liking all of the crazy like boho feeling patterns on the ground and the fabrics and stuff on the furniture and everything so cool yeah, I definitely think they're going for kind of like a desert island type theme. Wait, is this, is this like a tree house? Let's, can we, yeah, let's go up here. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a little train station. That is so stinking cute. Oh, and I love, I love that you can see the other train down here. And that it looks like it's going into the tunnel. That's so creative. This is a great view of it. It definitely makes this feel more like a train station. And, like, maybe they're, they're obviously mining a lot of, like, gems here. So, I wonder if, like, that's what the trains are being used for. To just, like, transport them or just kind of as like a more efficient like mining system i like it it's cool i love this railroad track like a lot and you can even sit up here for like a nice view of the rest of the island that is so pretty I think we're going to go back this way first. I freaking love this. 
it's so simple, but it fits so well with the theme. Like, it screams... This person went to is, like, in the desert, right? This is what this screams to me. This person was in the desert and just got really hot and, like, exhausted and probably passed out from the heat. And then, yeah, events happened and now they're just a pile of bones. That's really cool. I, I just like that so much. What do we have further up here? Okay. There's cool stuff I see back here. Ooh, it's like a western theme. I can see a cowboy sign back there. Okay, so here it looks like we have... This is our entrance into resident services from the airport. That is so pretty. The framing is amazing. I love the pops of color with all of the blues and purples everywhere. It definitely does feel like a, like a thriving desert environment. And I really, really love this code on the ground. For like the little floor tiles. I've never seen those anywhere before, but they are so good. Oh, and their Nook's Cranny isn't upgraded? That is so fitting for this island. Also, I love that they blocked this off. And that bread basket there, Chef's Kiss, all of this decoration is just, like, mind-blowing to me. I've been wanting to do kind of a theme like this for a while, so this is giving me a lot of inspiration I just really, really like how this island looks. It's so pretty. Ooh, this is a nice villager yard. I love how, like, open it is while also feeling full. Because, like, they left a lot of pathing and it just cut... Because it, it feels like a desert, you know? But I also appreciate that they use dirt and not sand. I feel like it actually works very well. I would have expected sand. But I think the dirt looks really nice here. Especially with all the codes on top of it and everything. I just... I can't. This island is absolutely amazing and I cannot believe that I found this on a dream tour O M G you guys look at this freaking wheat field do you see this this is so amazing I just love not only the way that it was constructed but I love the mismatching of the different colors of wheat. I love all of the overgrown weeds here. It's so, so like overgrown and like dead looking, but I love it. It's so cool. And it just like, I don't know, like it just makes me so happy. And this is so fun to run through, despite the lag, but that's okay. An island, you can tell when it's a good island when it lags a lot. That means that there's lots of items placed around. Not that islands that don't lag aren't good, but... I just can't. I cannot. This island is making me want to quit. Like, for real, for real. It's making me want to scrap everything. And restart. Like, look at this freaking view. Are you kidding me? That is so stinking pretty. Also, look at the little baby tree. I love the differing heights of the pine trees. It looks so good. Every, like, they... 
definitely understand the elements of design because having these trees in pairs of three works so freaking well here. And I know we saw this yard before, but I didn't see it from like that angle. So it just like amazed me. Ooh, okay. So we have Abel sisters here. With a cool sitting area. Again, with the patterns, these are like some of the most wild patterns that I've seen used on like any island that I visited and I love it aside from maybe bacons but oh my god these rock codes these rock codes are chef's kiss they're so good I can't how this is so stinking pretty oh i just this island oh we have a little stable here for the horsies i love it and a little bunny friend so cute let's go up here though because i am intrigued by that big lava spot that i see hello oh my god it's like a little outdoor bar, saloon, rec area. This is so creative. So cute. I love it. I love this so much. I haven't quite seen anything like this before because like everybody had their like tiki bars and stuff like way back you know but this isn't a tiki bar it's just like a regular bar and I I am freaking here for it Ooh. oh my god I love this what? This is so cool. If you guys don't visit random dream addresses, I would highly, highly recommend it. Because this is like insane. I would have never seen this amazing, amazing island if I didn't do random dream tours. And honestly, this is like life changing. I love how from behind, it looks like the volcano is blowing the fire out of it. That is so, that is so big brained. I never would have even thought to do that, but it definitely looks like a volcano instead of a mountain. And that's so, so smart. So smart. Oh, I just love this. Oh my god. Look at the view. Look at this view. I'm sorry that I'm like ordering you around, but like, look at it. It's so stinking pretty. I could never make anything like this. This is like freaking insane, man. And they have their campsite up here. That is such a nice, like, scenic view for, like, imagine coming to camp here. I would never want to leave. Yeah, the desert would probably be hot. And, like, it, you might be a little uncomfortable from the heat and everything. But this is such a nice place to be that I don't think I would want to leave. Also... I didn't realize that these cactuses had like those little flower thingies at the bottom and that they like come in different colors. So like that one on the left has flowers on it and the one on the right feels like older, but they both have like those 
tumbleweed thingies or like grass at like the bottom and I love that it's so pretty it's so cool I freaking love this island oh there's a spider crab yes I love spider crabs this is right next to the airport for reference And there's a little hammock for you to just lay and take in the lay on the beach and take in the view. Love that. I love how they like concealed the stairs behind the fence there. Very smart. Now, oh, I didn't even realize there was a ladder here. There's this whole area up here too. And, like, it overlooks that whole thing. That is so cool. That's so cool. I can't with this creativity and, like, all of the views and everything. They're so pretty. This person has one Animal Crossing. I don't know if they will ever see this video, but they have one Animal Crossing. I I just can't even. Oh, I love the seating area. It's just like every small part on this island works so cohesively together. It all fits so well. Every single spot that you stop is like an amazing view. I just can't get over it. I can't. Oh, we have our gyroid friends here. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, so how do we get... I think we have to go up. Let's see if there's anything else to the right that we missed. We already saw this and Abel's. I don't think we saw this little area right behind the that. Oh, there's a pipe hit in here. I'm kind of, I didn't even really notice that before, but I wonder where it leads. I kind of want to see, but I don't know if we should take the pipe or not. You know what? Screw it. Let's do it. I want to see where the pipe goes. Ah, to their house. Smart, very convenient. I love the decoration outside the house. Very simple. I like the exterior of the house a lot too. I think it fits the feel of the island pretty well. Ooh. This is so fitting. I've never, I don't think I've really seen this brown, like, I don't even remember what the wallpaper is called. I'm bad at remembering names in the moment, I'm sorry. Uh, I love the wallpaper. I haven't seen this used much. It's so gorgeous. I also love how, like, sectioned off this is. Like, there were no partition walls used, but it very much feels like different little sitting areas. Like there's a couch here where you can sit and chill. There's a little sewing machine over here. You can come and craft back here. I love it. Oh, this bathroom is, this bathroom is amazing. Oh my God. I can't. Look at that gyroid. He's so cute. He's so cute. Look at him. Aww. This is so well decorated. I never would have thought to use that, like, tension pole rack. 
this way and like have toilet paper here. That's so smart. And that like medicine cabinet is so well utilized here. It's very fitting for the theme. And just like the decor of the room fits very well. It definitely feels very cozy. I don't know what that sign says, but take a bath, you dirty something. Dirty cowboy, I think. I love it. That chandelier is chef's kiss. I love the lighting effect that it's giving in the room. And in front of that window, like the framing is so good. And it looks like they used partition walls like right up against the wallpaper to like frame the window better. That's gorgeous. I love this so much. That is one of like the best decorated bathrooms that I've seen in a long time. That was mind blowing. Oh, this is a cool kitchen. I love how, I love these seats like a lot. I like this wallpaper a lot. Is that back here? Is oh, I was like, what is the, what did they do to that wall? They just have like this partition thing here, but it looks really cool from far away. This is very fitting, very Western feeling, very like old uh, I don't even know what I'm saying it fits the theme really well that's what I'm trying to say and the right Oh, this bedroom is so pretty. I don't know if that's a lighting effect that they added to that lamp or if it just does that automatically, but that is freaking gorgeous. This lamp. I love it. I love it so much. I can't with their interiors. This lighting in the in the room is like big brained. I I can't get over it. The the like mood that it gives with the purple and like the chandelier is so so stinking pretty and the music in here that's being played fits so well and it's very relaxing like i would freaking love this bedroom all right let's go look at the upstairs next Oh my god, that wallpaper, that wallpaper. Oh, and the hanging sign with that like poster thing on it. I love that so much. Oh, their, their interiors are just so good. This whole island is absolutely amazing. I It's like mind-blowing to me. I just like have to take pictures of everything. Like it's so good. It's so good. Oh. This is adorable. I love this. I'm trying to get out of the frame so you guys can see better, but we have like a little kind of like a greenhouse area, I think. 
or yeah it's like greenhouse wallpaper it's definitely different it's like more like of a cozy like plant room kind of thing i think but i i'm here for it i love it they have a really cute sitting area outside of their house i love that they also have like a nice accessible storage shed there super helpful and then there's another nice sitting area here and more horses love it wait i love that pergola down there or not pergola the i love that gazebo down there they have blathers tent as the museum that's so fitting i love that fossil behind it so cute i like the crops up here too wait do they have mountains beach rocks with mountains love it Ooh, this is a really cool secret beach area all of their like little sitting areas feel so cozy can we get in front of blathers tent that is my question i believe so Ooh, so we have another villager house here. With more cute little chairs and that same, like, nice flower pattern. Now that I think about their, th now that I know what their theme is, they have such fitting villagers. Oh, and this campsite lead up. This is so cute. The like tiny little exhibits with like the models and stuff outside the museum. So well decorated. I love this like these like steps here. I don't know why. I just really like them. Oh, there's a gyroid boy up there. I didn't know you could put things on top of that. You can put gyroids on that. That's so cute. Aww. I don't know if this island is 100% complete, but regardless, I absolutely love it. And I think it's already s tier without being complete if anybody knows who this creator is please please link their socials to me any socials that they might have link down in the comments because i would love to give them credit for this it this island is amazing Another incline up here. Oh, that's so cute. Just like a very cozy little villager yard. Oh, and there's two houses with like the same rug. I like that. I really like the use of these in brown as like the little seats. Those work very well. Yeah, I don't think the island is completely done, but that's okay. I definitely might have to visit this again later and see if they make any more updates to it. Because this is, like, mind-blowing. What they've already done so far. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's anything that way, but if we come down here, I see more stuff that I like. Oh, yes, it's a little outdoor bath area. This island gives me 
Red Dead Redemption vibes. I know it's because it's like Wild West, you know, but I, I love it. 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 I, I'm going to say that a lot, but it's true. I, I do. I love, I love this island. Oh, this is so cute. It's like an outdoor, like, music area. I didn't even see this right next to, like, the little, like, a bathhouse thing. And there's a nice little chessboard there. Oh, this is the area on the beach I wanted to see earlier. Yeah, I'm guessing it's not done because of all the tree branches here, but that's fine. Definitely like the volcanoes back here. Sorry, Silvana, I did not mean to push you. Ooh, what's over this way? Okay, I think that's that same villager house we saw before. No, it's a different one, actually. There's a cute little dog house here. I forgot that it lit up with red eyes when you do that. Kind of spooky, but... Cute nonetheless. Ooh, look at this house. Whose house is this? I like this exterior. Henry? That's definitely not his normal exterior. Oh, and they match. That's so cute. This this must be Henry and Lily's yard. Very fitting. Kind of like swamp-like area for the frogs. So pretty. Oh, there's a cute little froggy back there. Uh, let's go up this incline. We can come back down in a second. Ooh. Okay, there's graves here. Who died? Oh, and this is directly in front of the museum. All right. Oh, there's an incline here. What's up here? Oh, we already saw this. That's okay. That's like, that's their house. That's neat. It's just like tucked away. I like it. And then if we go across the bridge. Ooh, I want to see that other beach. We'll have to go look at that in a second. We just have like this nice little fishing section. Oh, a teddy bear picnic. Love to see it. I freaking love picnics. Any picnic that has a teddy bear. Teddy bear is instantly 10 out of 10. Just look at how cute they are. And the patterns used are so good. All right, now we're going to go look at more of what's in front of the two frogs' houses. Oh, the lagoon! That's what it is. It's not a swamp. It's a lagoon. I like that. It's very fitting for them. Ooh, orange trees. All right, we love to see it. Oh, they use some of my one of my favorite items ever in the entire game. This little bunny day topiary. I love it so much. This island is instantly better because they use that. I love this area. Very simple sitting area. We have another villager house over here with some like pumpkins. 
very cute. And they have a little laundry area back there and some chairs to sit on by a cozy fire. I love that. So cute. This brick code, by the way, is amazing. I think using that on this island works so well. Okay, we saw those houses already, I think, because they, I remember them matching. Um, did we? Did we? Maybe we didn't, because I don't, they must have just done another set of houses like that, because I don't remember all of this, like, decor in front of it, and I don't remember that specific Oh, it's because there's three. That's why. It's a different neighborhood. But I I freaking love this. Look at this baby stump. It's so cute. Can I get through here? Can I get through here? Yes. Ooh, I like this uh, vine here next to the pumpkin. Very overgrown beach. I love that. Definitely feels like an overgrown, kind of like abandoned desert. Ooh, we have like a nice, another like false little camping spot here with a little gyroid friend that we can sit by there's also like a tent over here maybe it's like a little a tiny little campsite in addition to their actual campsite i kind of left like that they kept the pier undecorated i think that's pretty fitting for this island actually Let's go up this way and see what we have in store for us on the rest of the beach. Ooh, this little sitting area is cute. I love the gears as the backdrop. So, like, industrial looking. But still, like, very retro feeling. Or, like, old-timey feeling, I guess. It wouldn't be retro. It's, like, too old for that, but... Oh, can I not go that way? I can't get through here. No, I want to I want to go. Okay, how do I how do I get through? Can I get through this way? No. Can I not get through here? I must not be able to go that way. That's okay. Um Let's figure out how to get up there. Find where we have to go. And across this bridge. Okay, we already did see this. Uh, but I want to be able to see the rest of the like beach area over here. I love the use of these like things from bug uh the bug off. I don't remember what they're called. As per usual, I forget the names of things when I'm making videos. I usually know what they're called, and then I forget, and I can't remember. But I love, I love them. They feel, they fit very well on islands like this, I think. And there's no deco decoration back here, but that's okay. That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed touring this island. I'm glad I got to show it off to you guys. If you liked the video, please remember to leave a like down below and consider subscribing. But with that being said, I'm going to sign off and I hope to see you in my next video real soon. Bye!